one of the few times where it's like, of course he knows Santa Claus. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> he pulled out a picture of him and Albert Einstein hanging out at a, yeah. what was it, Frank Sinatra, Bobby Darren's play, uh, something like that. So he, I of just, course, uh, knows Santa Claus. And I like the guy who they picked to play Santa Claus. He looks really nice. Nick Frost. Nick Frost. Nick Fro- a, well, I've, Nick Frost, whatever his name is, the actor looks really good. He's a big fat guy. He's a big fat geek. Oh my god! But is he, he he has the Coca Cola Santa look, without being too like he's not the rosy cheek kind. But he's like if you took some of the early ones and plopped it into real life before he got the rosy cheek and all that crap. Yeah, that's what he looks like. So this well, is the stere- stereotypical Santa Claus, well, and it, it looks it, good. I'm sorry, it, it, it looks good. I kind of laugh because you've got Nick Frost. At, this was what season eight? Yeah, this was season eight. And Simon Pegg, who he normally works with, was in season one with Chris Reckleston. Because <laughs> Simon oh, Pegg, that's... Nick Frost. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are the Sean, you know, Sean the Dead guys, or you know. I did, I guys. thought Nick Frost was the name of the character. <laughs> no, 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 Nick Frost, the actor. Yeah, that's the dude. Nick Frost. Okay, and now for another six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Did you realize they are both in cold-related stories? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I will say this, I like Simon Pegg in Star Trek, which I know I'll go to hell for, for saying. He's a great Scotty. He won't go he to hell is. for He is. Well, a lot Scotty. of I've heard a few people really not getting the, the reboot. That's like, I don't get a lot of the reboot either, but I love Scotty. <laughs> I think Scotty just nails it. On one hand... Yeah, Montgomery Scott is one of the hard is one of the easiest characters to pull off. On the other hand, he is one of the fucking hardest characters to pull off because he's easy to overdo. Yep. Simon Pegg goes just far enough and knows when to stop. Yeah, well, that's it's as I pointed out when Star Trek first came out. He he called the uh, he called. Um, Oh shit! I forgot the actor's name. The Forrest Kelly. The Forrest Kelly. Not yeah. No, that was that's not Scotty. That was uh, that was Bones. Um, oh shit! Yeah, he died earlier. Who? Uh, yeah, because yeah, Scotty like, just yeah. died a few years ago, didn't he? Uh, two thousand one, if I remember right. He's been dead for a while. Um, yeah. He died after the Forrest Kelly. But, uh, yeah, and, I, and I'm, I can't believe I'm pulling a blunt on his name. I, I'm a terrible I, person. I, I can't either. Anyways, uh, Simon Pegg called up his family and went, are you okay with me doing this? You know, do you have a problem with this? If you don't have a problem with this, could you help me get into character? You know, complete, just, complete, complete, just, you know, do you have a problem with me repraising your 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 dead loved one's character? <laughs> Can I get some help here, please? You know. That is, and you know what? I wonder how awesome. many other characters did that. Well, I know the guy who plays Sulu uh, went and talk, talked to George Takei. Uh, well, he's a, he's a pretty decent character too. The only problem with Sulu and Chekhov is, as was evident in the movies, they're not used that much. I that I kind of uh, like to have to have them go against the grain and feature Sulu, Chekhov, you know some of the. Uhura even Uhura in the last one was really good. She got a lot of screen time. Usually Uhura didn't get much screen time. Uh-huh. But I'd like to see them more focus on cuz now instead of Bones, Spock and Kirk, now it's it's almost starting to turn out into Bones, Spock, Kirk and McCoy. Yeah. But the other and Uhura, but that's only because she's buffing Spock. So, 
If she weren't fucking Spock, she wouldn't be there either, and you know it. Yeah. So, Anyways. But we need, uh, to, we need to get the other two more screen time. Uh, what we need to do is get back to Doctor Who, because we just transitioned gears there, uh, talking about Tommy Peggy and the Cross. <laughs> well, you were <laughs> responsible for that one. Yeah, it's totally my fault. I'll take the blame for it. But anyways, no. So uh, the, the the final arc of uh, Doctor Who was, uh, well, everyone should have known by it now, and if you don't know about it, you're about to find out, was we saw the return of the Master again, and it was real Richard Delgado-level badassery, uh, especially, played, it was. Played by, especially played by uh, Michelle Gomez, as Missy, or the mistress. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I will say this, and you and I talked about it. I did not want to see the master come back, but this was probably the only way to do it. Because this was the you don't know... Way how, to do it. Number one, it was complete mindfuck that it was a she playing it, and she yeah. was good. Then you, have the fin- you know, it, it's. I, I'm going to throw this out here real quick. I, I read a lot of reviews, a lot of you know commentary about the episodes. You know, one thing that every critic can seem to agree on is uh, Michelle Gomez playing the strips is perfect. It's, it, yeah. it is brilliant. It's literally. Because you've got, you know, you've got Richard Delgado level, you know, evil and planning. And you've got the zany craziness of, you know, of uh, John Sims. And it's all, it's just all perfectly meshed together. And she played it beautifully. Well, you have a combination of John Sims and Anthony Ainley in there. Because oh, yeah. both of them took it more in... Uh, before the Joker was the Joker, the creepy yeah. Joker, that's what Anthony Ainley was, and then John Sims picked up on that. But, yeah, she had Bananas. the Ainley Sims humor with the Delgado... Sinisterness. Sinisterness, haughtiness, I would say. But yeah. she she was more of a, well she even she's a old school girl, so yeah. which kind of kind of leads you to wonder if they're you know if they're doing fourth wall shit which you know there are some anal retentive Whovians who are going through and combing every fucking line. Oh yeah, there, to there was that, re- okay, okay. I, she was pulling actually, more. There's a lot yeah. of there, there was a lot of fourth wall meaning uh, gags and they're like you know. My uh, oh my giddy aunt. Yes. Um, you know. Yes, I I heard that one. And it's funny, it's everyone attributes that to the master originally saying it. The doctor said that. Yeah, and that was Patrick Trump's just, little catchphrase. Yeah, and then and, you know I got attributed to the master, and so it was just kind of like ee! I squeed a little bit. Um, and if anybody wants and to then, take me to court on that, watch the Three Doctors. He actually says it, and that was well yeah. before. That was a uh, John Pertwee one. Oh yeah, it, and I, I uh, yeah, we're fanboying a little bit, but honestly, oh yeah, Michelle Gomez sold the master. She really did. She sold the master just brilliantly. Um, and it wasn't like, you know, Sound of the Drums, you know, da, da, da. no, it's, well, because that, that whole thing is over now, because, uh, obviously, um, the, because Gallifrey and all that fun stuff. Okay, once again, I gotta do something, I gotta pull off my headpiece from this. Okay. Well, I'll, going on the, going on the mistress... I think the one reason why I do not mind it is because they weren't. Number one, it wasn't John Sims. It couldn't be John Sims. Oh, is that him? Yeah, he was done. Yeah, John. 
if if the master came back it couldn't be John Sims and I'm glad it wasn't because like I said you should not bring John Sims back ever that ending was one of the best endings I've ever seen in a show that what you were actually rooting I mean that you could have a cheerleader squad for the master on that one moment alone it is one of the most badass moments on TV and yeah. the villain wow. of 45 years got it. That's yeah. fucked in the head. But <laughs> just they threw so many, they broke the mold so many times. They broke all the classic rules of Time Lord so much to bring her back. I think that's why she worked. They had never had a gender switching Time Lord on screen. They yeah. mentioned one in in. The doctor's yeah. wife, but they never showed one. Yeah. They changed and the name finally... so that you weren't well, aware of it right away. Well, and they 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 the real well, We can't hear you. You're out of range. Hello. Thank you. You walked out of range. Anyways, uh, they, and they did, they pulled a bait and switch really because they, you know, oh, she hit Gallifrey and Tech, you know, my heart's beat, da, da, da. you know, you left me, you know, you abandoned me. And so you're sitting there, and, and I won't fully admit, I was sitting there thinking, oh God, is it the Ronnie, or, or, or is it Roman? is it Roman? Uh Maybe, you know, I literally even stopped for a minute because we've talked about this a lot of a few weeks back of, you know, how could it be um, 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 you know, like the stop is very hard right now, just playing the same shit. Closer. Oh, God, fine. <laughs> I keep telling you this. You need a Bluetooth mic. A Bluetooth mic wouldn't do a fucking thing. Hey, a Bluetooth mic charge is good for an hour and a half. That's all you need it for. Yeah, go ahead. Um, but, uh, I was thinking it would be Ronnie or even, uh, this, the Susan from there. Oh my god, is this Susan? Uh, and we should I want to fight away out of the deck we were actually talking about, you know, Susan coming back. Um, and then oh, it's the Master. Oh, you're a little Skypey, but I caught, I caught enough of that. Yeah, it's. I honestly, with the list of names you got, Ramona would have been the most possible. And I could have seen that. But, again, the only, th the only thing that I will put out is, God damn it, man, you've got a whole fucking planet. You need to keep using the same toy over and over. I love Missy. I thought that was spectacular, but it was still the fucking master. Yeah. You have the Ronnie. You have the monk. You have the warlord. The warlord came back in the books. So you can use the warlord or the war chief. You know, you've got Rassilon was around. You've got a whole planet of time lords. Why do yeah. you keep picking on the same poor bastard? What would that be? Bastress? I don't know. But, bitch. Bitch, thank you. I didn't know if, if that... Well, never mind. I did think that the ending was... Very you ambiguous. Well, no. I'm talking about the gift from the master to the doctor. Oh, God, Yes. I, again, here we go, second time in four years, you're actually rooting for the master. It's like, oh my God, this could change everything. This uh, this sounds cool. Come on, doctor, go for it. Come on. And then, hey, then the doctor kisses, then the doctor kisses the master. So if there isn't fanfic of this by next week, you all ain't doing your job. Come on, they've given you two moments here. Actually, three. So, 
I don't want to read it. I'm just not. I'm just surprised.